Welcome to Sales Training. This will be a run-through of StoreGuard access control systems and traditional individual door alarms. This is our hardwired systems. We also offer intrusion and CCTV systems. Please call or email if you would like further info. First, let's talk about why you and your customers should use StoreGuard products. We are reliable and durable. Our software can stand alone or be integrated, and we have no reoccurring fees. StoreGuard has a reputation for reliable and durable products. They withstand the test of time. Our keypad back box is double layer metal and powder coated for maximum protection from the weather. I have seen keypads hit by a car and only the back box is damaged because the outer layer peeled partially off while leaving the inner layer intact to protect the keypad components. After a major collision, only the back box needed to be replaced. Our faceplate is quarter inch aluminum. It easily tolerates the wet cold weather in the Pacific Northwest. Your faceplate will always look good as aluminum will never rust. The keypad itself is epoxy filled. This means that if for some reason water surrounds the keypad, it cannot get inside or affect the wiring. For this reason, our SG100 and SG200 keypad can be installed directly on a standard outdoor electrical box. We believe in our products so much that all StoreGuard keypads come with a five-year warranty. Our software can stand alone with our controller and keypad or integrate with all the major management software to provide an automation to your facility. With just our software, you have the ability to enter, remove, or suspend customers. You can also run reports to track activity on one customer or all of your customers. You can do this from your computer or the manager's phone app. Unlike most of our competition, StoreGuard has no reoccurring fees. This is an outright purchase of the access control equipment. Even the software updates are free. Tech support is offered at no cost through the setup process of any new system. It is also free if a problem is found to be a warranty issue. If your customer gets a new computer after the initial setup, then our tech support can help transfer the software to the new computer. For all non-warranty or initial setup, tech support is charged in half hour increments. Most new computers can be set up in a half an hour. StoreGuard Access Control is a three part system. You need all three parts to have a complete system. They are Access Plus, the software, the controller, and at least one keypad. Access Plus software requires a Windows-based computer. It can be installed on-site or connect through the internet to a computer off-site. A computer off-site will require port forwarding. This provides a secure connection. The software gives you several choices for alerts. You can have it notify you when a particular customer uses their code. If there is any activity on-site, and offer several options in between. Access Plus gives you the ability to lock out a customer who is overdue on their rent. This is done in the customer's information and simply requires the checking of a box. If you want to allow access but be notified they are there, this is also an option. The software reports gives you several options. You can look up customer activity based on location and time, find out how active an area or customer is, or just see if a particular unit has been accessed. Access Plus also has the ability to set up custom reports. Everything can be done at the computer or using your smartphone or tablet. Through report forwarding and our manager's app, you can see all activity through your access control. This gives you the ability to track activity and open and close gates remotely. You can take care of any issue even if you aren't on site. Access Plus software integrates with all the big management softwares. With this integration, you can automatically lock out late pay customers and add new ones. Everything will automatically update based on the information from your management software. Access Plus has lots of abilities that I haven't even touched. 
please check out the Access Plus demo on our YouTube channel. You can find this through our website. Because of all of these abilities, when you install an order, you will also need to figure out time zones and access levels. This info, combined with the list of units, will be needed for us to pre-program the software specific to your customer's facility. Our controllers are the power box and memory for our access control system. They store the current codes and provide battery backup so that you aren't down just because of a small power outage. They do rely on the software for updated info, but in the event of a power or internet outage, they store the last set of current codes and use that info until the power and internet are restored. The controllers are modular and you can have as few or as many as are needed for the facility. They do need to be installed in a temperature controlled area. Basically, we need to keep them dry and protect them from freezing or boiling temperatures. StoreGuard can build these in a climate controlled outdoor electrical box. Pricing is not set on the outdoor boxes, so please let us know if you want one quoted. We do offer various types of controllers. We have two door, four door, and elevator controllers. We use the words keypad and door interchangeably. The two door controller will control up to two devices. The devices can be keypads or Bluetooth readers. Each one of these can control a door strike or a gate. A two door controller can store up to 2000 user codes. The four door controller will control up to four devices. The devices can be keypads or Bluetooth readers. Each one of these can control a door or a door strike. A four-door controller can store up to 20,000 user codes. The elevator controller will control one elevator bank. It can be a single or a double elevator. This allows you to control access to only the floor that the customer has a unit on. All upper floors will automatically return to the ground floor where a code will be required to go to the assigned level. You can also use this controller to trigger a door strike on a nearby door. All systems require one master controller. All additional controllers are slaves. The master should be specified as a USB or a LAN connection. This is how it will connect to the customer's computer. If the computer is on site, then we use a USB connection. If it will connect through the internet and port forwarding, then we use a LAN connection. StoreGuard has keypads to be proud of. They are durable, reliable, and carry a five-year warranty. We offer every option that your customer could want. Our Prox Reader option allows the end user to carry a Prox card or FOB. The card looks like a white credit card and stows away easily in their wallet. The fob is easy to put on a keychain or carry in the console of their car. The visual difference between a prox and a non-prox keypad is the black border around the keypad. This is the reader. Your customer just needs to hold up the card or fob and the system reads it. No more remembering their code. Intercoms are a convenient way to talk to your customers at the keypad. They will not have to park and come inside to see you. StoreGuard offers two types of intercoms. The type you need will be determined by the facility type. The first type is a standard intercom. When your customer has a full-time manned office, this type makes sense. It is hardwired to the master intercom that is typically located in the office. The other type is a remote intercom. The intercom will need to be connected to a phone line. When the customer pushes the button, it will dial a pre-programmed phone number. The remote intercom does have the ability to work over the internet instead of the phone lines. If this option is used, you will need to set up a VOIP system such as Magic Jack. StoreGuard offers a pinhole camera in their medium-sized keypads and larger. Please note that all medium-sized keypads have the cutout for intercoms, so we do not offer an option that has the camera and not the intercom. 
Our keypad cameras do not come with recording devices such as DVRs or NVRs unless purchased separately. For this reason, we want to make sure that the keypad camera will plug into and interface with the customer's existing system. We do this by offering these cameras in analog, IP, or HD 1080p formats. The analog and HD 1080p format will likely be compatible with analog systems. The IP camera is OnVIF compatible, but you will want to compare the manufacturer's spec sheet for this camera with ones from the customer's existing system. IP systems commonly require that the same manufacturer make the camera and the recording device. This is the day of the smartphone. Customers want to use their phone to access the facility. StoreGuard offers this option with the Bluetooth reader and app. How it works is the end user downloads a free app. They then enter a credential that they purchase from the self-storage facility. The self-storage facility enters the same credential into their access control system. The end user enters the credential into their phone. They are then able to drive up to within five feet of the receiver, which is typically mounted on the side of the keypad, and push a button on their phone to enter. Please note that the credential is only good for one device. If the customer gets a new cell phone, they will have to purchase a new credential. It is not transferable. With these readers, please note that you need spots on the controller. If you want the software log to show the customer used their smartphone to enter, if the customer does not care about how the entry shows on the log, you can plug the receiver into the same port as the corresponding keypad. This will result in both of them showing up on the log and both will show activity at the keypad location as well. LCD displays are available on our largest keypads. This is for the customer who wants it all. Please note the LCD has about a two month lead time for production. These keypads are made to order only. StoreGuard offers gooseneck stands and bullard heads. Our back boxes will also mount on any flat surface. Gooseneck stands come standard, so the keypad will mount with the keypad centered about 40 inches. We do have dual height and RV height gooseneck stands available upon request. Bullard heads fit on a 10 inch bullard. The bullard should be a height of about 43 and 5 eighths inches from the ground. More height can be added if the customer wants this to be at RV height. Dual height bullard heads are available upon request. Please call for current pricing. Let's talk about basic wiring. There are install sheets that have more detail, but for sales purposes, here is what we use to wire each component. For both basic and prox keypads, we use a Cat5 wire between the controller and the keypads. These wires also trigger the gate operator or door strike that the keypad is controlling. For a standard intercom, we recommend using a 22-06 wet rated shielded wire. For remote intercoms, we use an additional Cat5 wire connected to a phone line. For analog and HD 1080p cameras, you will use a good coax cable in addition to the keypad wire. For an IP camera, we recommend another Cat5 wire. The Bluetooth readers will require a Cat5. The LCD displays require an additional Cat5. For the controller to the computer, you will need an additional Cat5 wire. Now let's talk about our traditional individual door alarms. This is a hardwired system that can be monitored, set off alarms, and will send email notifications if the alarm is triggered. It is recommended for new construction due to the wiring needs. How it works is the end user enters the facility through the gate. When they enter their code and it is current, the gate opens and their unit alarm is deactivated. This deactivation can be set on a timer to reactivate or it can be reactivated when the end user enters their code at the exit keypad. 
If another unit is open that was not deactivated, then the alarm will sound and a notification will be sent to the alarm monitoring company. While it is typical that the customer uses their code at the gate to disarm their unit, it is an option to put a keypad near the unit. This is often done if there is a building that has individual door alarms and you want your customer to have the ability to deactivate from a location very close to their unit or if there is no gate keypad. There are lots of components that go into our traditional individual door alarms. It is an add-on to the access control system. We will be happy to discuss wire with you, but you will also need the software programmed, at least one MUX unit, and a 12 volt power supply, along with a quick switch for every door. The software is our Access Plus software with the addition of individual door alarm programming. This is on the price list as door alarm software. There is extensive programming involved and StoreGuard will be doing that programming. We will need you to provide some information. The drawing helps and we will talk more about that in a moment. You will need a 12 volt power supply. This can be found on the price list as MUX power supply. We use Altronics power supplies. What makes the connection on the doors is a type of quick switch. The QS-914M attaches at the latch. This works on most standard roll-up storage doors. This monitors whether the latch is open or closed. If you have unusual roll-up doors, such as large RV doors, you will want to use a floor mount switch. This is a OSDC-59A. Both switches are hardwired. Now, let's talk about the door alarm drawing. As StoreGuard, we use a trunk wire to connect the switches to the MUX unit. Each trunk wire connects up to 12 doors. This drawing shows what units should be connected to each wire. It will also have a line drawing showing the MUX layout and how it connects to the StoreGuard access control system. This drawing will be used for programming of the software and we will need the unit numbers on the customer's drawing. There are several monitoring options for individual door alarms. The simplest is the customer can monitor from their software. If an alarm goes off, it can be tied to a strobe and or siren and the system will immediately send them an email notification of what alarm is going off. An alarm will also show on the Access Plus software and the log. There are two ways the system can be monitored by alarm monitoring companies. The first one is through StoreGuard monitoring. With this option, each unit will be monitored separately and the alarm monitoring company will immediately know what unit is an alarm and they will take the appropriate action please call StoreGuard for current pricing. The other way is to tie it to the customer's intrusion system as a zone. If an alarm is triggered, then the alarm company will immediately know that an individual alarm is going off and will take the appropriate action. Since you can set the email alert to go anywhere you wish, the alarm company will immediately receive an email notifying them of what unit is an alarm. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our access control and individual door alarm systems. If you have any questions, please call or email. We are happy to help. Our office is open from 8 a.m. till 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. The phone number is 1-800-651-3129. Let us know that you are a dealer and have questions. Whoever answers the phone will connect you with someone who can answer these questions.